Hi folks, it's Max from HighOnAndroid.com where we get high on Android every day. Peony 2. Who are you? <laughs> this is my YouTube channel. Anyway, today let's talk about AOSP. Uh, what is AOSP? AOSP stands for Android Open Source Project. All right, Android, Android Open Source Project. Project. Basically, AOSP refers to the whole Android operating system, which is an open source project. So they refer to it as uh, AOSP or Android Open Source Project. Now, what does this mean for custom ROMers and people installing custom ROMs? Um, you'll notice that uh, there's a lot of uh, AOSP ROMs, TouchWiz ROMs, Sense ROMs, uh, Moto Blur ROMs. What are all the differences between these uh, different ROMs? So let me just give you a layman's um, definition. So in custom ROMing, when somebody refers to it as AOSP ROM, uh, that means it's been built from the sources. Uh, certain custom ROMs like Cyanogen Mod CM 10.1 uh, or AOKP uh, or Paranoid Android. Uh, all of these are AOSP ROMs because they were built from the sources uh, so they are referred to as AOSP ROMs it's usually divided between 50% AOSP ROMs and 50% maybe TouchWiz ROMs if it's a Samsung phone if it's a ACC phone it'll be uh, you know 50% Sense ROMs 50% AOSP ROMs I mean the percentage is a little bit different with each phone uh, but roughly there's 30 to 50 percent AOSP uh, ROMs out there. So what is the difference between AOSP and uh, TouchWiz? AOSP versus uh, HTC Sense, AOSP versus uh, Motorola Blur custom ROMs. Now I've got TouchWiz ROM here. Um, this isn't considered AOSP um, even though it does use Android open source uh, code uh, but Samsung has done enough uh, damage or modifications uh, and added TouchWiz user interface and also they changed out the inner workings so you can get new features like a multi-window and a smart stay um, you know all that new Samsung features that Samsung added on to the AOSP so essentially it becomes a new code um, not really considered AOSP so we just call it TouchWiz ROMs. As you can see here, this is a TouchWiz ROM. Um, you can see it's Samsung skinned. I've got uh, multi-view here working. And uh, so I can actually multitask, uh, which is really cool. And I've got it multitasking there. And also you get new features like uh, Smart Stay. Let me show you that here. Uh, Smart Stay, Smart Rotation. And of course, with Galaxy S4 coming out, there'll be new software features added, even to the Galaxy Note 2. Uh, but let me show you an AOKP ROM. Versus this is an AOSP ROM. As you can see, uh, there is no TouchWiz UI here. And uh, there's actually no multi-view. And also, um, you will see that about phone, uh, it's built, uh, it says AOKP there. Um, so how do you tell between AOSP ROMs uh, versus TouchWiz? Uh, most AOSP ROMs will kind of look like this. We'll have the kind of the uh, vanilla uh, Google pure Android OS feel uh, versus TouchWiz themed. Um, so you can pretty much tell usually by the launcher uh, whether it's running TouchWiz or it's running AOSP. For HTC phones, um, this is called a Sense ROM, Sense based ROM. You can see this got the uh, Sense UI here. Um, so this is pretty much a Sense uh, ROM. And also, this is actually Jelly Band ROM running on my HTC uh, Evo 4G LTE. As you can see, it's um, pretty much AOSP. And also, if you can tell by the soft keys, I'm um, usually. Uh, that's an AOSP ROM. But you can see the launcher, uh, it looks plain vanilla and uh, you know that's how you can tell if it's an AOSP or a Sense ROM, uh, completely different. I've also got uh, a CM 10.1 Cyanogen mod, the latest Android 4.2.2 running on my Verizon Droid Razor and uh, I've actually upgraded to the, the Jelly Bean that came out a couple months ago and uh, it sucks. Everybody's telling me it sucks 
But I installed an AOSP Cyanogen Mod CM 10.1 and it's running flawless. My camera works really well. It's super fast. Everything just smooth. Uh, by the way, this will be the ROM of the week next week for DroidRazorRoot.com. Um, so it is, you know, AOSP can sometimes make everything better, uh, make your phone run faster. Um, there are times where you can make uh, everything better. There's of course phones like the Nexus 4 I've got here, or Galaxy Nexus, or Nexus S, any of the Google Nexus line. It's a Google phone, and they all ship with AOSP ROMs. None of that TouchWiz crap, none of that Sense BS, uh, none of that Moto Blur blurry crap. Uh, all that crap are gone. Um, so you get pure Google. Um, so if you're not into custom ROMs, you don't have the time to root and install custom ROMs, definitely you can go with one of these Nexus phones. But if you do have the time to root and install custom ROMs, I mean, you can pretty much get what Nexus 4 has. I've got it on my Droid Razor running pretty much flawless. Um, everything I can do on my Nexus 4, just except for the Photosphere, I can pretty much do on my Android 4.2.2 Cyanogen Mod CM 10.1. The beauty of AOSP ROMs. So my advice to you, if you are into rooting and custom ROMs, definitely get a Samsung, HTC, uh, or you know Motorola phones. You'll have a bunch more fun with it, or even Sony Xperia. Uh, Sony Xperia is a little bit harder to root, but um, you can root it and uh, install AOSP ROMs and go back and forth. The beauty of having a branded phone is that, that you can go with AOSP, you can go with TouchWiz, uh, you can switch back and forth. For example, for most of my Android phones now, it can actually run Xperia Z Launcher, so I can actually turn any of these phones into an Xperia Z with the Xperia Z launcher. Uh, pretty much the UI is. And you can also do same with TouchWiz. You can actually run it on most HTC phones with uh, the Jelly Bam ROM which comes with a TouchWiz uh, launcher. A lot of people think that you know manufacturers should make AOSP ROMs only uh, but I think that actually really limits uh, how much custom ROMing we can do, the more possibilities of different user interfaces. I know sometimes it confuses people, uh, but you know, if you come down to it, there's two types of ROMs, AOSP or whatever brand you bought. So uh, for Samsung, it's TouchWiz, uh, Motorola, it's Motoblur, or whatever it's called now, and also HCC is Sense, and Xperia, um, called Xperia, and uh, you know, likewise for other manufacturers. So I hope you get what AOSP truly means and uh, also AOSP means it's, it's all open source uh, versus TouchWiz or Sense. Uh, some of it might not be 100% uh, open source so we can't really call it AOSP. Uh, AOS, to be AOSP it should be at least you know 99% uh, open source um, so that's kind of the difference that I see. Here's one thing you have to remember if you're going to be installing custom ROMs. AOSP ROMs are Cyanogen Mod, CM10.1, AOKP, a Paranoid Android, or anytime the developer says it's an AOSP ROM, or if the launcher looks like this, it's definitely an AOSP ROM. And also you can make a TouchWiz ROM look like AOSP by uh, installing Nova Launcher. Um, that's not truly considered AOSP. Uh, to be truly considered a AOSP, the ROM itself has to be compiled from sources. Anyway, I hope uh, this answers some of your questions about what are AOSP ROMs versus TouchWiz or Sense or Motobler or Xperia. And uh, I hope you know it helps you in installing custom ROMs. And now you understand why there's uh, AOSP Android 4.2.2 ROMs, but there's no TouchWiz 4.2.2 ROMs yet. Um, that's because Samsung hasn't released Android 4.2.2 and uh, we can't really build the sources for Samsung because it's not 100% uh, open source. And question of the day for you, what is your favorite ROM? AOSP, TouchWiz, Sense, Motorola, Xperia, or etc? Leave your interesting and creative comments below. And I'll see you guys soon. Stay high on Android and if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button down here, subscribe button down there and uh, share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+, or anytime people ask you, what the hell's AOSP, dude?